so excited that you're here. Isn't summer the best? You get to do so much fun stuff, like going to new places with your family or having more play dates during the holiday. What about here in Kids Church Online? This summer, we're finding out what it means to have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. When you put your faith in Jesus, you have the kind of joy that nothing in this world can take away. You have peace because you believe that Jesus is always with you. You can choose to trust Jesus as He leads you here, there, and everywhere. Faith can help you get back up after you've been knocked down. Very cool, right? Now it's time to worship the Lord. Prepare your heart and let's sing together. Hi everyone! We've been on an amazing journey through God's big story in the Bible. We talked about how God created everything in the world, including people. Adam and Eve turned away from God, but still, God had a plan to make things right. God sent Jesus to be our rescuer. 
Jesus was born and grew up to live a life of love and compassion. He performed amazing miracles and taught things about God that no one had ever heard before. Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for our sins. Then he came back to life. Jesus spent some more time teaching and being with his friends before he went back to heaven. After Jesus left, he had sent the Holy Spirit to the early Jesus followers, and the early church began to grow quickly. One of the Jesus followers who shared about Jesus was a man named Paul. As we've talked about, Paul traveled all over, starting new churches and telling people about all the amazing things Jesus had done. The problem is the religious leaders and the Roman authorities weren't happy about what Paul was up to. Several times, Paul was hurt and thrown in prison just for trying to tell people the good news about Jesus. And that was just the beginning. To get more details about what happened, I thought it would be fun if we could ask Paul himself. But first, let me find my seat and let's take a seat. Okay, here's my seat. Everybody, please welcome Paul. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Hello, Paul. Thanks for joining us here at IES Kids Church. I thought maybe you could help us get to the bottom of the not so great things that happened to you. Now, Paul, it seems you went through a lot. Yes, that's true. From what I understand, the governor had you taken to a place called Caesarea, where they kept you for two whole years. Then, what happened to you after? It was my right as a Roman citizen to get a fair trial before the ruling Caesar. So, I made my appeal to him. Yes, that meant you had to take the long and dangerous journey all the way to Rome. And there weren't airplanes back then. Were there, Paul? What's an airplane? <laughs> Sorry, right, never mind. You don't know airplanes. So uh, they handed you and several other prisoners to a Roman commander named Julius. And they put you on a ship for Italy. I understand that you stopped at some different cities along the coast. But it was winter and the weather was becoming more and more rough. Then, what happened to you after your ship stopped in a harbor called Fair Heavens? I warned the man that it would be too dangerous to sail, but the pilot and ship owner said that they should sail on. Then the Roman commander, Julius, decided to listen to the pilot instead of me, so we sailed on. The wind started off gently, but soon it became as strong as hurricane. Our ship was caught in the waves being driven about by the wind. Surely it would soon to be torn apart and seen. The crew tried everything they could. They lowered the anchor. They even tossed things overboard to lighten the load. Eventually, the people on the ship began to lose hope. Wow. But I believe you trusted God. You knew that God was there even in that terrible storm. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes. I stood up in front of the other men on board and I got their attention. I told them that God has sent an angel who, who, who had told me not to be afraid. This is what I said to other sailors. Now, I beg you to be brave. Not one of you will die. Only the ship will be destroyed. I belong to God and serve Him. Last night, His angel stood beside me. The angel said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must go on trial in front of Caesar. God has shown His grace by sparing the lives of all those sailing with you. Man, continue to be brave. I have faith in God. It will happen just as He told me. Wow, wow. Paul, you really do have amazing faith. I heard that night after 14 days of the awful storm, the ship approached the land. The crew dropped four anchors to stop the ship. Just before dawn, you talked to the other men on board. 
Um, but what did you say, Paul? I told the men to get something to eat and I re reassured them that they, they would land safely. None of them would lose a single hair on their head. And when daylight finally came, the ship hit a sandbar underwater and began to break apart. The commander, Julius, ordered anyone who could swim to head for sure. And he ordered everyone else to use scrap pieces of the ship to float Wow, on. wow, wow, wow. And from what I heard, amazingly, all 276 passengers on your ship safely made it to shore. Praise God, praise God. Then, what happened next, Paul? You, you know what? I was beaten by a f venomous snakes. I, I was just adding some wood to the campfire and the snake was like, you know, it's came out and beaten me. Oh, sh How frightening. The people there on the island thought for sure you would die. But I heard you just toss the snake off into the fire. When your wound didn't even swell up, they decided you must be a god, isn't that right? Yes, that, that was a little embarrassing. It's just me, Paul, a human. A human with an amazing story of God's goodness in my life to tell. <laughs> but wow, that was awesome. So, thank you, Paul, for joining us today. Let's give Paul a hand. You're, you're very welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. While Paul was on the island of Malta, he did some big things for the people there. With the help of the Holy Spirit, he prayed for healing for the chief official's father and for others on the island. And God healed them. The islanders gave supplies to Paul and his companions as a way to say thank you, so that they would have what they needed for the rest of their journey to Rome. Paul went through a lot of trouble on his voyage to Rome, but he had faith. He knew that God was with him every step of the way. That's what gave him the courage and strength to continue, and that's what we should remember today. When bad things happen, God is with you. Let's pray and thank God for the amazing truth. God, thank you for being with us always. We can trust that you are there for us just like you were there for Paul and we are never alone. Thank you for giving us your love and support when bad things happen. We know that we can't always avoid difficult situations in life, but we're grateful that you are with us no matter what. Show us how to grow stronger in our faith in you. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's pop quiz time. I'll ask you some questions and you can shout out loud the correct answer based on the Bible story you just heard. Are you ready? Question number one. What was the name of the harbor in today's story? Was it called Fair Heavens? Was it called Fairy Heavens? Or was it called Flare Havoc? You got it! The harbor in today's story is called Fair Heavens. Question number two. Who was the name of the ship commander? Was it Junius? Was it Julius? Or was it Judius? That's right, the name of the ship commander was Julius. Last question, what bit Paul? Was it a lion? Was it a piranha? Or was it a snake? Yup, a snake bit Paul. Scary. You all did it. Thanks for playing pop quiz with me. Hi, I ask it. It's great to be here, games. Let's read the memory first of this man together. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2, verse 8. Wow, that's great. Let's read it together one more time. Ready? Let's do it. God's grace has saved you 
because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2 verse 8. This verse reminds us that God has given us salvation and since God has gone that far in showing His love to us by rescuing us from sin and making a way for us to be in a relationship forever, we can trust that God will be with us and never leave us. God saved us through Jesus and sent the Holy Spirit so everyone can know God's presence. So whether you in a great place right now or having a rough time, remember, when bad things happen, God is with you. Nothing that happens to you, nothing that you feel or see or experience can take God's love from you. God will never leave you or abandon you. Always keep this in mind, I ask it. See ya! Hello my friends! Since our theme this month is Ready, Set, Move, so today let's play Sports Trivia Quiz. You know how sports is all about moving here and there while having fun, right? Now let us test out sports knowledge by answering these questions. Number 1. What does NBA stand for? Is it A. National Basketball Association B. Never-ending Basketball Audition or C. Netherlands Basketball Augmentation And the answer is letter A. National Basketball Association Number 2 What part of the body can touch the ball in soccer, except the goalie. Letter A, head, B, waist, or C, hands. And if you answered letter C, then you are correct. It's hands. Number three. Which one of these is not a regulation stroke in swimming? Stroke is a method that you use to swim. Is it letter A, backstroke, B, butterfly, C, stone stroke, or D, freestyle? And the correct answer is letter C, stone stroke. Number four, what color flag is waved in motor racing to indicate the winner? Is it letter A, green and yellow, B, black and white, or C, red and blue? You guessed that right, it's letter B, black and white. Question number five. What is the only sport to be played on the moon? Is it letter A, golf, B, badminton, or C, skateboard? And of course, the answer is letter A, golf. Question number six. What five colors make up the Olympic rings? Letter A, blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Letter B, white, gold, silver, bronze, and orange. Or letter C, pink, mustard, cyan, purple, and gray. And the answer is letter A, blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Number seven. 
What is the only country to play in every World Cup? Is it A, Indonesia, B, Brazil, or C, Mexico? And if you answered letter B, then you are correct. It's Brazil. Question number eight. How many sports were included in the 2008 Summer Olympics? Letter A, 10, B, 350, or C, 28? And the answer is letter C, 28. Number nine. In which sport was David Beckham popular? Is it A, tennis, or B, hockey, or C, soccer? And of course, the answer is none other than letter C, soccer. Number 10. How many players are on a baseball team? Letter A, 9, B, 23, or C, 4. You got that right. It's letter B, 23. Were you able to answer all of the questions? If you got everything correct, you truly are a sport person. Okay, friends, until next time, bye! Our Bible story today had a shipwreck, kind of like our sinking boats right here. We also heard that a lot of stuff happened to Paul. Bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. Do you remember some of them? Yes, the prison, shipwreck, snake bite, and many more. It must have been overwhelming. Have you ever felt like that? Where one bad thing after another happens? Maybe you were late for school and realized you forgot your homework. Then your lunchbox was empty and it was raining outside. Sometimes it's more serious than that. But even when it feels like you've had a terrible, very bad day, remember that when bad things happen, God is with you. Have a blessed week, IS Kids! Standing